Council member Matthew Eugene attends the groundbreaking ceremony for the new adult fitness area at the parade grounds made possible through his funding. Hey, my man, what's going Good on? Good morning, my brother. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> good doing, first. That's my manager. How are you? How you doing, Gene? Everything's good? My man, good. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good, good, good. All right. How are you doing? How are you doing? You brought the good weather. Thank you so much. <laughs> I told you that I was going to do that. You did. You did. Exactly. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to the parade grounds. My name is Sue Donahue, and I'm the president of the Prospect Park Alliance and Park Administrator. And I could not be more thrilled to be here this morning on this glorious, finally, spring day. Um, it's great to welcome you all here, and this is a really exciting event for us. Um, we are so pleased to be breaking ground on this adult fitness, uh, new adult fitness equipment for the parade grounds. And we have to be so thankful um, for the support from Council Member Eugene for this project and really so many other projects for Prospect Park. He's been a wonderful supporter of ours in so many different projects. Um, this one, he's also funded um, a new synthetic turf that's gonna be coming to Field 9 um, that's very actively utilized for um, football as well as soccer and so many other uh, sports. He's just been a really great supporter of parks in general and for that we are so appreciative. I want to also recognize Alvin Burke who's here from the community board and also a great park supporter and been very invested in what goes on here at the park and the parade ground. So thank you for that. Um, we are thrilled about this project taking off. The need for an interest in adult fitness equipment has definitely been growing. It's such an important amenity for so many um, youth and adults and seniors are very interested in this kind of equipment. I know for myself, I spent hours standing at these fields. I would have been so happy to have some adult fitness equipment when I was standing on the sideline <laughs> watching my kids play soccer. So it's great to have it. This project also, as we try and do, we stretch the funding we have as much as we can. And so along with the adult fitness equipment, we are also going to be able to install misting stations um, along the field line so that for all these kids playing in the blistering hot heat of uh, spring and summer, they'll be able to cool off with misting stations. And then we're also going to be addressing some, you know, ongoing drainage that is always problematic across the park. So really wonderful project for us and incredible improvement uh, for the parade grounds, which we're so happy to celebrate. I also want to recognize the council member has been great in terms of his participatory budgeting process. And I have grown to really love participatory budgeting because it's the community speaking and the community often wants things in the park, which is great for us. And so there's a lot of interest in another uh, adult fitness um, area like this one here in the parade grounds. Um, Ehan, thanks to TV and thanks to the council member, uh, not too long from now, we're also going to be celebrating uh, the opening of a dog here in the parade grounds, which is another thing that has been such um, so asked for and a huge request from the community. So, um, really excited to be here, really excited to kick off spring with this great celebration. I would be remiss if I didn't um, recognize this morning as well our great design and construction staff who is here, led by Christian Zimmerman. Um, they are really the brains behind and the vision behind the great designs that we have. And we're so fortunate to be able to have that skill and expertise in-house. It really distinguishes the alliance um, and we're so happy to have it. And then last but not least, it was the maintenance and operations staff who got this site ready. And I want to so thank um, Dan uh, from um, Commissioner of Law. So I know that um, Commissioner Marr would really be so, would so want to be here this morning when he's on vacation, but you guys have done a great job representing. So thanks so much to Amy and to Liz Wolsack and to the whole MO staff who worked so hard to uh, keep the parade grounds clean and also the rest of the park. So without further ado, I'm thrilled to hand it over to uh, Council Member Eugene and thank him so much for his support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. 
As you know, I'm Council Member Matthew Eugene, representing uh, the New York City Council uh, 40 in Brooklyn. That's you know, where you are at right now. What a privilege that I have. <laughs> uh, let me first and foremost uh, take the opportunity to thank you for her uh, leadership and also her uh, advocacy, the wonderful job that uh, she's doing for the past. And I want to take also all your, the members of your wonderful staff, all of you. Thank you so very much, and also the volunteers and the engineers, the one who designed this uh, project. To all of you from the bottom of my heart, on my behalf, and also on behalf of everybody in the community, and also in New York City, and anyone who will be coming to use this uh, facility, thank you so very much, thank you. And I'm very proud also to be here, and uh, you know, I was sitting close to my chairperson, Alvin Byrne, the chairman of our community, but for, you know, as a, a city council member, I'm still a member. And I can tell you, uh, I got good memories of the community, but for, you know, I learned so much in terms of government. Thank you very much uh, for being here. And you know, today is a wonderful day. The time is auspicious to this great city Because he, I was informed that he was going to rain. And I said, no, I cannot let that happen. And I pray God, and look at that, because of my prayers. But uh, seriously, uh, I'm very happy to be here. This is a wonderful, wonderful moment because this project is a very important project for so many people in the community. And we know that exercise is very important for human beings, adults, rich or poor, regardless of your socioeconomic situation, it is very important that you, 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 you use exercise and, and you do exercise to keep you healthy. I remember that I used to go, I live close to this park, very close, at least a few blocks. I used to go with my children when they were little, and usually when I want to do some push-up and some exercise, and I saw a sign, adults are not alone, you know? not prohibited to use uh, the, the, the equipment. I say, oh my God, I cannot use that. But now I'm telling you that I will call over here every morning, or as uh, you know, when my schedule allows me to do it, to exercise, because I know first hand what it means, or the benefit that we can get when we come very early in the pattern, open air, to exercise. This is great. You energize your body and you strengthen your uh, cardio respiratory system, your muscle, your bones. And I'm telling you, this is good recipe, not only for good health, but also for longevity. And if you don't believe me, I'm asking you to come when the place, when the exercise equipment will be installed, to try them. You will be so convinced you will never doubt about anything that I will tell you after that. <laughs> but honestly, uh, I'm very happy to uh, partner with uh, the Postal Park Alliance and all the wonderful staff to improve the infrastructure of the park. We have done so many improvements of the infrastructure of the park. This is one of them. And today, I know this is a great day, and I cannot wait to see this uh, you know, uh, 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 open, because as I said, I will come to practice and to do exercise. I used to practice sport, a lot of sport. And before any championship, I love saying that, before any championship, I used to go to the park, to meditate, to breathe fresh air. And I'm, I'm telling you, not because I'm the best one, I always win my championship. If it's because of the park, probably yes. <laughs> I don't know. So if you are practicing sport, you want to win, come right here. I guarantee you, you're going to be the winner in any sport that you are practicing. <laughs> <laughs> to all of you again, thank you very much, and I enjoy, and I'm very grateful to you, so and to all the members of the Postal Park Alliance for the partnership that we have, you know, uh, and uh, doing projects that improve the quality of life of everybody in New York City. And in addition to that, this is going to break the barrier, because there are many people who don't believe that. It may be, it may look simple to you to go to the gym, practice sport, and pay the, 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 the membership. But there are many people in our community who are working very hard. They cannot afford to pay the membership to go to the gym. But over here, they won't have to be worried. They just have to come over here 
is their jogging suit or short time and practice court to improve their health. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Thanks for the effort. Welcome, thanks. 